Charmaine Ross is a commuter cyclist who bikes to and from work each day. Somewhere between 10 and 12 kilometers one way. That's why it was important for her to attend the city's latest open house at City Hall and give her feedback on the cycle master plan. On a very personal level, I'd like to see um, 7th Avenue as a bike route right now, but it doesn't have a bike lane like the, some of the other designated routes, and it also has several stop signs on that east-west route, and so I would certainly like to see that to be a bike thoroughfare because that's my route to and from work. Dick Hoi Dong is another example of someone who takes a bike everywhere. I cycle every day so you know I, I mean there is seldom a day that will go by that I do not cycle. Even minus 30. But minus 30, icicles in my whiskers. And it's avid commuter cyclists like these folks that the city is hoping to receive feedback from. Big-time cyclist? Um, I'm like a medium cyclist, okay. um, in part because of some of the things like just don't feel accessible to me. Like I don't feel like I have the confidence to ride as many places as I would want to, um, given the current infrastructure. Um, even though I have like aspirations to be a major cyclist, um, and I try my best, but not always possible. This is the third open house that we've had for the cycling master plan, and uh, we are gauging the community's feedback on some of the proposed. Uh, corridors and uh, infrastructure types that we'd be looking at to potentially uh, incorporate into this plan. During two previous open houses and a residential phone survey, the city sought vision from the community on which routes are most traveled by cyclists and which ones pose the most concern. They've now put the data together and are proposing some specific routes based on previous feedback. Part of the proposal includes building whole new bike routes and turning certain traffic roads into bike-only routes. There's a lot of routes that are being proposed, um, essentially creating a network so there's not just one individual route that kind of begins and ends in any one given place. This network would create a series of opportunities to get around the entire city um, via your bike. As far as I'm concerned, red means stop. Cyclist Rick Smith has many concerns about motorists not being mindful of bikes. Traffic <laughs> seems to ignore a red light. You still get individuals in vehicles turning right without even stopping. It's, it's very tricky and tough to get past the intersection at University Drive. And uh, I have not found an easy way to do that. It's fine if you're going, you know, left to the university, but if you're going further on Club Drive and then turning left later, like if you're going to Copy Copperwood or something like that, every time it's it, it's it's kind of painful. In addition to the three public engagement open houses, the city has built a website for the community to go to, see the proposed routes, and leave their feedback. What's on the website right now has a lot to do with the background information, the vision, the goals, and identifying areas in Lethbridge that perhaps could use some better cycling infrastructure, places where we can improve. I'd really, really encourage um, citizens, people who live in Lethbridge, to go to the website and give them feedback on what they think are the best routes. It needs a lot of public feedback because it's hard to, for any one person to say what are the routes that we most need because really everybody has to say what are the routes that they most need to get where they want to go. So the more people who participate in this process and make themselves heard, then that's how we get the best infrastructure for the city. The next open house will be in the fall prior to the Capital Improvement Projects meeting. At this time, the city isn't clear on how much this project could cost, however. For more information and to leave your feedback, so the website URL is cyclelethbridge.mindmixer.com. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Jeanette Roche.